A very, very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Today, I wanted to talk about your presentation power. And whether you're talking to one person or to a group of people, whether you're doing it in person, virtually, in a hybrid situation, the reality is that your ability to present information in a compelling way is critical to your overall presence. And one of the most important things you can do is prepare in the right way. So the first thing is to say to yourself, who is my audience? So if you've got a communication or a presentation coming up, ask yourself, who is my audience? Number one, basic. And then a good question to ask is, what do I want them to think, feel, or do, or it can be an and as a result of this communication. And something we often forget to do is to say, what is the benefit to them if they take my advice or guidance? So I hope you're taking some notes at this point because the amount of presentations that I see where some foundational things are lacking. So once again, who's my audience? What do I want them to think, feel, and do? And then the acronym that I use is being heard. And I'm going to share the first part of being heard with you today. And that is how do you hook or immediately engage your audience? The beginning of your presentation is prime real estate. It's in that first couple of minutes that your audience decides, is Nadia worth paying attention to? Is or are you as the presenter worth paying attention to? So here's some ways to immediately engage or hook your. So what is a hook? A hook is the beginning of your presentation. It's that first couple of minutes. It's the prime real estate. It's in that first couple of minutes that all your audience decides, is this person worth paying attention to or should I mentally zone out? So whether you are giving a presentation in person or virtually, please remember that there's certain ways that you can immediately grab your audience's attention. You can ask them a question, a statement, a fact. You can tell a story that links into your subject matter, or you can go situation, complication, question, or message. So if we're talking to an audience about working from home and why working from home should be something that we continue to do, I might start off with a story of an employee who we wouldn't otherwise have attracted if they weren't allowed to work from home. Or I could tell you statistically or factually the amount of individuals who would prefer to work from home. Or I might break it into situation, complication, question, message, which is the situation we're in is that the world has changed and people have enjoyed working from home. The complication is we are now forcing people to go back into the workplace. The question is, what can we do to bridge that gap? Well, that's what I'm here to talk to you about. So please think about how you are going to start a presentation and do it in a way that poses a question and says that your presentation is going to answer that question. I'm Nadia Vilcek, and for more tips and techniques on virtual or in-person presentations, please go onto my website, nadiaspeaks.com. Well, as you saw from that video, we were having some audio issues. And if that happens to you in a presentation, that's one of the things we look at is if things technically don't work out perfectly, my advice to you is just stay very calm. If it had been a longer video, I would have probably cut the video and then come to you. But mistakes happen, issues happen, technical issues happen, particularly in this virtual world. So just stay calm, carry on. If you fumble, 
and you trip over a word. Something I recommend you do is simply say, let me rephrase that or let me put that another way. What you never want to do is look flustered. Now, I am having an information session on Wednesday, January the 31st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Please register. And this is for people who want to improve their presentations. If you feel that your overall presence or your presentations can do with some tweaking. And if you want to understand the fundamentals, please join me for a free information session. And then you can decide, I'm doing an eight week masterclass. Is that something you want to sign up for? But come for the free information session and I'll go into more detail about what I'm sharing with you today. So that's Wednesday the 31st at 6 p.m. Or I'm doing one for those of you in other time zones, 9 a.m. on the Thursday. So you have a choice. If you want to get those links, remember, it's either Wednesday. Click on below. Please register. Love to hear how you would like to improve your overall communication skills, your presentation skills. This program is also for people who are thought leaders. And that's how I initiated the program is people coming to me saying, I've got so much information, I've got so much to share, but I want to put it in a way that is compelling. Who should my audience be? How do I craft a presentation? So either of those days, please sign up. The idea behind presentation power, and you saw that in my video, which unfortunately had a few timing issues. And again, technology, when we're presenting virtually, often has issues. I've watched the best presenters in the world and there are just moments where things go wrong. Again, just be very calm and that's something we talk about because nobody's perfect, no situation is perfect. And Voltaire actually said, the enemy of the good is the perfect. And we've used that in many ways, saying the enemy of getting things done is perfect, my friend David Asano always says. And sometimes your presentation isn't perfect, but does it achieve its purpose? And that's the goal of presentation power. And how to enhance your overall presence, because presence, your ability to persuade, influence, inspire, is not only when you're giving a presentation, it's when you're having a conversation, it's when you're networking. So we're weaving all of that in. But being heard, learning how to hook or immediately engage your audience is one of the critical skills in learning to present. So, so far, if you're just joining us, I'm talking about presentation power and maximizing your overall presence, the topic I speak about a lot and do a lot of coaching on and speaking in the area of persuasion and influence. But the first thing is, am I preparing correctly? Am I ascertaining the purpose of this particular communication? And oft overlooked is what is the benefit to the audience? Then we focus on being heard, which is the hook. Am I providing the best evidence? Am I telling the best anecdotes? Do I know how to reel my audience in? And reeling your audience in is the end of your communication where you've got an opportunity to summarize, brief call to action, reiteration of the benefit. So all of those things are so critical and presenting powerfully and maximizing your overall presence is critical to your career success. It's critical to your overall ability to navigate the workplace. So please join us on one of these days, register now or register here, or if you need more information, it's Nadia at NadiaBelchik.com. But my goal is to work with you or your teams really to help ensure that each and every time you present information or in fact communicate, you are coming across as the very best, most relaxed, most competent, most confident version of yourself. So take a quick assessment and say, the last time I engaged with an audience or presented information, be it virtually, be it in person, be it hybrid, did I walk away saying I nailed it? I came across as confident. I came across as competent. I came across as credible. Or are there times that you could enhance your overall impact? And then the other thing about this is if you are a thought leader, if you're somebody who has expertise in a certain field, 
and you really feel that you could reach a rider audience and help them, have you got a message that is crafted and ready to go? And then are you looking for opportunities to speak? So I get asked these questions all the time and I have put together a really effective program on how do you maximize these opportunities? And so often someone who's been speaking and training for three decades, yes, I am absolutely aging myself. I get asked, how do you become a professional speaker? And the reality is the first thing and the first step in all of this is, do you have something to say? Do you have a message? Whether it's you, I recently got asked this question by somebody who is in real estate and she is an expert in the area of work, play, live developments. And she said, I've become such an expert in this and I want to share my message with a broader audience. So that would be a perfect person. Whatever your expertise is and you want to share that, are you providing an environment and do you know how to begin the process? So that's why I would love you to join me on either Wednesday the 31st at 6 p.m. or Thursday at 9 a.m. and just come in for an information session. We'll just chat, see what your needs are, see if you're a good fit. But the overall goal of all of these programs is to maximize your overall presentation power and your presence. So questions I get asked all the time, right? These are the questions that all the time I get asked is about confidence. That is the number one question I get asked. I'm going to try and play another video <laughs> with Combat Nerves with Nadia, Ways of Dealing with Nervousness. I also have an entire TEDx talk. It is called Own Your Confidence. Emery TEDx goes into a lot of detail around techniques to overcome nervousness. So those are some of the questions I get asked the most about presentations. Sometimes it's nervousness. Sometimes what do I do if I stumble? How do I begin to craft a presentation? So if you are somebody who is finding yourself having to communicate or you're in sales, are you maximizing these opportunities? Here's a video. I hope it plays seamlessly. If it doesn't, well, that's life. Hello, I'm Nadia Bilchik, a professional speaker and broadcaster. And I speak around the world and I get asked lots of questions. I get asked, who's the best person you've ever interviewed? What was it like to meet Nelson Mandela? And is George Clooney really so sexy? But the question I get asked most, and this is from Dubai to Durban, is before you give a presentation or before you stand up in front of a group of people, do you get nervous? So I'm going to share a couple of tips, a couple of great antidotes to dealing with your nerves. The first and most powerful antidote to nervousness is mental. What is your mind focusing on when you feel nervous? And at this point, I ask you to start developing something called your positive emotional memory database. And what is that? That's a series of positive past experiences that validate you. So think for a moment of anything in the last couple of years, be it a job promotion or getting a job or even watching your child being born. Something that when you recall makes you smile, makes you feel successful, confident and powerful. And as you get nervous and as you face with an intimidating scenario, simply play that video in your mind. And it's amazing how your body will respond. The second thing that I always do is I go to the far end of wherever I'm speaking or to the back end of the CNN newsroom and I do something rather unusual. I take a deep breath in and I go one, two, three, huh! Let me show you that again. One, two, three, huh! Now that's one of those things that you really have to do backstage and not in front of your audience. One of the tendencies when people get nervous is that their voice often gets high-pitched and breathy. So, one of the most powerful things you could do so that you don't sound nervous is a series of voice exercises. Very simply, taking the vowel sounds A, E, I, O, and U, start with hum-mum-mum, 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 then with the vowel sound E, 
Hem 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 with vowel sound I. Hem 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 with vowel sound O. Hum 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 with a vowel sound U. Hum 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 hum. I hope you notice the sound is now in front of my mouth and it's very resonant and round and it sounds deep and I sound relaxed. One of the best antidote to nerves is the three P's of practice, practice, practice. Know who you're speaking to, what you want them to think, feel and do as a result of this communication. And I like to ask a question when I start a presentation. That way, the focus goes from me and the attention goes from me to the audience. So practice asking a question. I've shared a couple of tips with you and very briefly, if you want more detail on any of these, please take a look at my book, Small Changes, Big Impact, which is maximizing your presence and leveraging the power of your personal brand. It is available on amazon.com. You know, they say the enemy of the good is the perfect Voltaire. Um, if you are a perfectionist, then going live and streaming and having videos that don't work perfectly may be an issue. I'm not sure, by the way, why that video didn't work perfectly, because it usually does. So I'm assuming it's a StreamYard issue. So if anybody out there works with StreamYard, please help me understand why I had issues or it may be a computer issue. These things happen. Key, and I'm saying it again, if you're just joining me, I just played a video. It did not play perfectly. So don't get flustered, don't get upset, simply move on, be transparent. Not sure why that happened. Apologies if necessary, but move on quickly. And the key always is to be relaxed. Everybody makes mistakes. I've worked live on television for many decades. I've made many a mistake. And I always tell people, very few people ever notice, except my mother. She'll always notice if I make a mistake. But it's a reminder that people don't view you with the microscopic lens you view yourself. So please join me for one of the information sessions. If you need more information about them, please go on to, and I'll just remind you once again, some people are asking. So it's Thursday, February 3rd, 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'm having an information session. And then Wednesday, the 31st at 6 p.m., I'm having an information session. And really the goal of these info sessions, sign up. I just want to hear from you. And these info sessions are for individuals who are in the corporate world who need to enhance their overall presentation skills. I'm doing a masterclass, an eight week masterclass, the info session, only free info session. Come along, chat to me, tell me what your needs are. I'll see if you're a good fit. So if you're in the corporate world or if you're an individual who has a lot to say and you've always wanted to know, how do I begin to become a professional speaker? How do I do what Nadia has been doing? And really just a chance to chat, give you some tips, ideas, techniques around that. So that's Wednesday or Thursday. Ah, some people have already signed up. How wonderful. Thank you. I've got my wonderful tech assistant here, Marion, and she is telling me that several people are signing up. So thank you. No obligation. Just come and join us. Getting back to you as a presenter and your ability to develop the kind of confidence that says, I am happy speaking up in a meeting. I am happy having conversations with higher ups. So when we think of presence, it's your overall ability to persuade, influence and inspire. And could you maximize yours? And are there certain things you wish you knew or could be doing? And I'm so excited to tell you that neuroscience proves that we have enough neuroplasticity in the adult brain to learn new things, to shift mindsets. And these programs really help in 
assisting you in doing that. And of course, I always say byproduct is great, great networking. So I hope to see you. If you once again have just joined us, I spoke today about how you prepare for a presentation. Who is my audience? What I want them to think, feel, do. What is the benefit to them? And then I use the acronym of being heard. If you want to sign up on my newsletter, I go into more detail on that, Nadia at NadiaBilchik.com. I will type that in, Nadia at NadiaBilchik.com. Please reach out if you want some more information. I've put that in there. And um, feel free to reach out in whatever way. So I thought I would end this morning's broadcast by doing something very risky. We say get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So if you are sitting at your home computer, if you are driving, I'm going to give you some voice exercises that will just help warm your voice. So the next time you give a presentation, you don't sound creaky and you don't sound nervous. If you do these before the next communication or high stakes meeting, you will sound confident. So I'm going to type in that we start with ham, mem, mem, right? Just start with ham, mem, mem, and we'll take it from there. So all together, and I can't hear you, but you can hear me simply going ham, ham, ham. Let's try that. And ham, ham, ham. Once again, ham, ham, ham. Now try it with the vowel sound E. Ham, ham, ham with the vowel sound E. Ham, ham, ham with the vowel sound I. Him, him, him with the vowel sound O. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> and with the vowel sound you hum, hum, hum. Hum, hum, hum. so hope i've given you some substance hope to see you on either wednesday january 31st or thursday february the 1st and come and join me and we can chat and see how you can maximize your overall presentation power and presence <laughs>